Hello again and welcome to episode to this episode of how to change the seven areas of your life over seven weeks in seven minutes. My name is Anish Mukuma and today we're going to be talking about money. When you hear the word money, what comes into your mind? Does freedom come to your mind? Do you panic? Do you feel fear or do you have it? Um, I learned from uh, one of my mentors. His name is Bob Proctor. It says E plus FG equals I. Now, E here stands for expenses. So you take the number of expenses plus your financial goal. And then you have a number of how much income you need to create. Now, there's, um, Robert Kiyosaki wrote a book, Rich Dad Poor Dad, is definitely the one book I would recommend you get and you study it, not read it, study it. Um, and study to apply. Right. Study to apply because that's the only time that you'll actually get to benefit from reading the book. So Robert Kiyosaki says there's four ways to make money. He calls it the cash flow quadrant. Right. So most of us start on this quadrant as employees. We move on to self-employed. And then you have the business owners and you have investors. If you're an employee, uh, you're self-employed, you own a business system or you are an investor. One of these four ways. Now, for most of us, we start life off as employees. And an employee is, is a good place to start. If you don't have a job, get a job. Uh, don't be caught up into one of those people who think, you know, I won't get a job because then I'll get tax. At least you have cash flow. Now, the way you manage your cash flow, that is a lesson for another day, but that's what separates you from someone who is constantly in debt or you end up with, at the end of the month, you have more month than money or you have some money left. We're going to be talking about the emotional aspect of money, which many people get themselves stuck in. So he says you are either an employee and an employee trades time for money. An employee trades time for money. So your employer controls uh, your freedom to a certain extent. As an employee, your employer controls how much money they make. Um, and if you want to make more money, well, put in more hours. How about a, a self-employed person? People like doctors and dentists and plumbers and builders, they fall within this category, including accountants and lawyers, right? They are self-employed. How do you know they are self-employed? Because if they don't show up to work, their work can be done by someone else, which means they are, they are trading their profession, their knowledge for money. If a doctor doesn't show up, he can't send his brother or sister. He has to be there for the job to get done. That's what self-employed means, which means now they own the job. If they don't show up, nothing changes. So you have an employee where an, uh, an employer owns uh, or controls your income. And then as a self-employed, you own a job. What's the difference between these guys and these guys? These guys own their time. These people trade their time for money. And then number three, you have a business owner who owns a system. So as a business owner, you own a system that allows you to leverage or to have a lot of people working and you are getting a benefit. Warren Buffett, one of the money-making geniuses who is alive today, he said he would rather have 1% of a thousand people than 100% of his own work. That's what leverage means. So when it comes to owning a business system, you have the very expensive franchises. You also have the medium expense franchises. You could buy yourself a, a cleaning franchise. You could buy yourself a teaching franchise, something like Kumon. If you are within the UK or whatever uh, Kumon operates, uh, you could actually own a franchise almost for free with a business system called the network marketing business system. But you have to understand, in all these four quadrants, work is needed. And finally, an investor. An investor is someone who has money working for them. So here on, on this side, you have, you trade your time for money. And on this end, you have both money and people working. So there's those two ways to actually make money. Money working and people working. The best way is to do both. Money being energy, you can't hoard it. You can't keep it. You can only buy stuff with it. And that stuff that you buy represents where you are emotionally. 
So if you're emotionally bankrupt, chances are you have poor money management skills. If you're emotionally strong, chances are you will have or you'll be able to develop better money management skills. Now, I'll leave you with it. I'll leave you with this one statement. If you're wondering where you stand or you think oh, I don't need to learn about money, I've got enough, wear your ego against your bank account. Okay? Wear your ego against your bank account. If your ego is too high, chances are your bank account is very low. If your ego is low, chances are your bank account is very high. How, what do I mean? The ego is the person who thinks they know it all and they've learned enough and they're an expert at what they do. They don't need to be taught. Um, on the other hand, the rich guys, you'll find that they are very humble people. They are quick to listen and slow to speak. They study a lot, but they never ask the, uh, the, the wrong people the right questions. They will never come to you and ask you about money if you're poor. Why should they? They go to experts. They seek expert advice and they sit down and take notes and they learn. So if this video was helpful to you, drop me a message down. Let me know whether there is one way or the other I can help you or your business. Um, and also I would, like you to, uh, I would like to make an invitation. If you are looking for a way to increase your income in 2019, let me know. Let's have a conversation. I may have an opportunity for you. Thank you so much. See you next time.